active viewers, subscribers, non-subscribers, I'm so glad you stopped by. If you've not subscribed yet, I urge you to do so. I promise you, you are going to enjoy my content. This is Onye, if you've not seen this face before, and this is like the part two of the first video I made. So when you leave the card above, if you've not seen that video, um, treatments that help me get from this to that. Okay, so make sure you watch that video and sit to the end so you'll know what helps clear my face. Although, <laughs> I'll have to say first of all that the most principal thing about pimples is knowing what caused it. So guys, about three weeks ago, my face was as smooth as it can get. And then today, you're seeing some pimples here and a little here. And that's because I got in contact with the cousin of my pimples. And so it started a new series of pimples before I found out that this was actually what was causing the pimple. And I've, you know, now I'm free actually because it's not going to happen again. Because I'll ensure that that particular product that's causing the pimple, which is actually my hair product, though one of the hair products I was using. So I'll have to discontinue that because it was causing pimples. And um, the pimples you're seeing right now are nearly almost gone again because I'm still using the stuff I used before that helped clear them and they are doing a good job. So guys, without wasting your time, I'm going to show you guys the products I'm referring to that helped me clear my pimples and dark spots. The first on my list, which is the first product I got was this the Ashanti Papaya and Tommy Soup. Now I've watched a lot of reviews and I've read a lot of reviews about this product and seriously, no one has a complaint about this product, okay? It's a fantastic soup. Um, it's the, that was the first product I got. I'm going to show you guys how it looks inside. So another thing to be aware of is that there are tons of fake out there in the market simply because it's a very good product, it's been around for a very long time, it's, trust, it's trusted now and so the fake people are getting victims. So you have to make sure that you get the original of the products before you, in order to avoid complaints because if you get the fake you will actually definitely have complaints. So this is what it looks like inside, it has the Ashanti written on this side, embedded, and it has their logo written on this side, okay, and the um, leather has, you know, this golden color with the Ashanti logo all over the body, and this is how the pack looks like, okay. This is the back, it has um, the oldest writing in another language, and the front, the one that you can actually read, you know. So this is papaya and honey, I'm trying to focus it so you guys can see well. Focus please. This is the Ashanti papaya and honey soup. Yes, this soup smells very good. If you're someone that is in love with good scents from products, you are going to enjoy this um, soup. I promise you honestly, it smells so, so nice, you know, and it ladders very well. It ladders really, really well, okay? So um, that it's kind of a disadvantage if you don't, if you, if you make the mistake of leaving it near a moist, like if you make the mistake of leaving it on a moist environment, it will definitely, you know, soak and get so wet and it will waste away. So you have to ensure that each time you bathe, you take it away from that wet area so that um, it will dry and stay cool. Okay. So that's that's what you need to know the physical uh, characteristics of the soap. And then um, the way I used the soap initially, this papaya and honey soap, was that like the directives I saw online was to use it on my face as a mask. So I rub it on my face and I leave it for about three minutes. But guys, that did not go down well. It did not go down well. So uh, if you have sensitive skin maybe that will not work out for you i don't know if i have sensitive skin or not i guess i do because um some people are actually doing that on camera and they didn't have problems but honestly as i put that soap and left it on my face for like three minutes it started burning very seriously it was burning my face and after i did that for about three four days i even started having i had a scar here seriously it was that bad i had to stop doing that i immediately had this notion that the soap is harsh but it is not harsh. Just make sure if you have it, if you want to use it as a mask, you can. And then if you find out that it's really hurting you, just 
you know just use it to wash your face and and and, and you know just rub your face and wash off okay because that's what the manufacturers actually made it for you know so all these additions human additions i don't know they work sometimes they don't work sometimes so if it doesn't work for you just drop it okay so how i use it is i just use it to wash my face wash my face for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds and that's it and i use it to bathe because it's it's, it's just good <laughs> to me it's a good soap for everyday use okay so it's made in thailand it's made in thailand and it has AHA plus BHA. Okay. I will also tell you the ingredients in case you're interested. So the ingredients are coconut palm oil, sodium hydroxide solution, papaya extract, Q10 plus vitamin C and E plus AHA. Those are the ingredients. I don't think it's anything too fancy, but I think it does a good job. So guys, the second soap I have on my list is K Brothers, K Brothers papaya soap. Now, guys, actually, what I used was the K Brothers carrot soap, which looks like this. Only difference is that for the papaya, in place of the papaya, you have carrots drawn on it. Okay, so this papaya, I haven't used it yet. I just bought it for variety sake. Now, when this soap came in, was when I, you know, I've explained to you guys how I use this soap as a mask on my face and it burnt my face. And so I stopped using it on my face. That was when I went for the K Brothers carrot soap. The K Brothers carrot soap is what I was using up until it finished. I was using it on my face. Okay. Uh, and it, I used it as a mask. I used the soap as a mask for some time and eventually I just decided not to use it as a mask anymore. It wasn't really burning me, it was milder than the Ashanti, it wasn't burning my skin. So, but eventually, after using it as a mask for about three days or more, I stopped. And then I was just using it to wash my face on a regular. This papaya, I haven't used it at all, but I trust the company, so I know definitely that it will be a good soap. As usual, there are also many fake you know many fakes of this product because it's a very good product it's trusted it has been here for a long time so ensure that you make sure make sure you know the difference between the original and the fake before going to buy it okay so this is how it comes in it comes in this black pack both the carrot and this one they come this way this is the back okay so at the back you have the direction so the direction says use on the face with water then smoothly scrub on the affected areas. Massage creamy bubbles on the skin with fingers and rinse off gently. Use two times a day. And the ingredients are water, coconut oil, sodium hydroxide, carica papaya fruit extract, retinue palmitate, that's vitamin A, niacinamide, that's vitamin B3, vitamin C, tocopherol, that's vitamin E, titanium dioxide, some color and fragrance. And it was manufactured by G&K International. Co.ltd. Guys, like this soap is also very nice. In fact, these two soaps, I don't think I'll be leaving them anytime soon. It also smells very nice and it has the same color as the Ashanti soap. I will show you guys right now when I open it up. So that's how it comes in this um, square form. You can call this uh, a cuboid form. Okay, and it has the logo in front. So the original has the, lo the logo embedded on the soap and it says Amako down here. I'm sorry that you can't see all, the, all these guys, but I hope you just take my explanation. So it has the label embedded here and Amako written down here. And as you can see, it has in gold, it has K Brothers written all over the pack. Just like Ashanti has uh, its logo everywhere on the body. So, okay. So, and it smells very, very nice also. You're really going to enjoy this soap if you decide that it's going to be your everyday soap. It also has a label. Um, what do you call this? A leaflet, rather, sorry. That it's, it comes with. They warn you of counterfeit products here. They warn you of counterfeit products. So this is, this is how the label is. The, the leaflet is. That's the back. There's nothing written at the back. It's just here. Um, so there's the directions there which I've just read to you guys and there's some explanation if you get the soap you will see it yourself okay so guys really these are the two soaps that I use on my face every day you know and it helps in fact um, let me clear you guys up here because you might be wondering okay I made that video and I used some products there and now I'm using these products okay let me clear you up 
I used those products for about three weeks, three weeks, you know, three weeks ish, and then I decided to stop them. Maybe because my body was itching to use something else. They were working well, that's why I made a review on them. But I wanted to try other things, and I had seen all these reviews on these soaps, and they said they deter acne and all of that. So I wanted to give them a try, and that's exactly what I did. I did give them a try, and while giving them a try, I wasn't using those products anymore. So don't think that you have to use those products I talked about in my former in the video, which I'll put the card up above. I've also put the card at the beginning if you missed that. Okay. So I did not use both of them uh, at the same time. I stopped using those ones and I was using just the soup and one other product I'm going to show you guys now and declared off my pimples finally. My pimples were all gone. Uh, if you're wondering, maybe you didn't hear me at the beginning of the video and you're wondering, okay, she says she carried up her pimples but she still has pimples on her face. That's because I came in contact with the cousins of the pimples without knowing because I didn't know what was causing the pimples. All I know is that I just started having pimples. There were some new hair products I started using recently and they were causing me pimples but I couldn't pinpoint the exact one causing me the pimples until when, until I used them recently again and I was able to identify what exactly is causing pimples. So that's why I have these ones but as of two weeks ago my face was very clear. Okay, very very clear. So the last product guys I would like to show you is this. This is Skin Success. Hmm. The bottle is white so you can barely see anything. Skin Success. The, the Skin Success comes in a pack but I've thrown away the pack so I'll have space in my room. If you remove it from the pack, it comes this way, a bottle, it's a 250ml bottle and for the original you have Palmas engraved at the front and at the back of the bottle here. I'll just put a picture so you guys can see. So it has it engraved here, then it has um, expiry dates, manufacture dates and what other thing, a batch number on the it here. And then what else would you use to know? So it has now, now with retinol, that's what it's written here, Palmas logo, skin success, with vitamin E, anti dark spots, fade milk, and the rest of stuff here. So guys, this was the cream I was using on my face. This cream, I used it on my face and it did a very good job on my face. This helped clear my dark spots. This guy, he helped me clear my dark spots. I wasn't using it with anything. So what I've explained to you guys here is just what I was using on my face and it helped clear my pimples totally, totally, okay? So this, the description on the front says it brightens the skin, it balances tone, it fades dark spots, it corrects discoloration, and it deeply moisturizes. It has um, alpha hydroxy, vitamin C, and E, and sunscreen. So it also has it also has hydroquinone, guys. So I'll read to you guys the directions. It says it says it's only for adults. You should apply a small amount as a pin layer on the affected area. If no improvement is seen after three months of treatment. Use of this product should be discontinued. So if you don't see any, um, if you don't see results after three months of use, you don't, you will not start seeing results at three months. So don't be afraid. But after three months and you still not seen anything, you should discontinue use. And they said the lightening effect of this product may not be noticed on very dark skin. So if your skin is very dark, you might not uh, notice the lightening effect. So I was using this guy on my face, like I said, and it helps me clear my dark spots. It also helps to brighten my face. So you guys can see, my face looks brighter than the last video, I think. So yeah, I think combination of this and the soaps is what helped me achieve that. So any other thing I need to say, uh, the cream, this cream contains hydroquinone in the safe amount of 2%. So it's it's sort of a drug. It's not a cream you should use every day. It's not a cream you should use every day for the rest of your life. You're supposed to use it to treat something and discontinue it. For me now, I've finished the bottle. I've finished the bottle and I will not be buying another one because it has done what I wanted it to do for me. It has cleared my dark spots completely. It has brightened my face and I don't need it for any other thing. Now, um, guys, this cream... 
this cream will not bleach you guys it will not bleach you okay if you wanted to buy this cream to lighten your skin as a whole you'll be disappointed because it's not I guess maybe because they said its lighting effect won't be noticed on very dark skin so if you want to use this product to brighten up your skin as a whole it will not do that for you but because the face is, is sensitive and it's an area of the body that is quickly you know affected by products so if you use this on your face I'm guessing that it will work for you the way it worked for me and that's just it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video like I said you will always enjoy my videos. so if you've not subscribed make sure you subscribe I bring you good content I bring you skincare um, skincare tips skincare products and hair care tips guys I've not been posting hair care tips recently because because I don't really think they are that much appreciated but if you guys want me to post hair care tips more often just leave comments ask me to do that and I will definitely do that have a nice day guys bye